Okay, let's try making a video when it's still uh, day. Not that it matters much given how overcast it is. But anyways, Yoski, here we have uh, custom stands uh, versus bot ones. Let's first start with the custom ones. So as you can see, there was a um, progression of size. This was the first one that I've done sometime last year. And then the second one, not that long afterwards. And this one, I've actually finished it, I believe this Monday, so like a couple of days ago. And uh, yeah, you know, stands. So they're supposed to make things stand and be nice. So if you're wondering, and also, you know, in terms of fitment, this is the idea behind them and yeah i mean it's not about these things obviously if you're wondering about the stupid consoles there are better channels i think retro gaming core is nice and the core is as in like marine core not in like core dump so if you wish to look for that uh, in any case now obviously before i've made this i've actually tried to get some like store-bought stands and uh, yeah it's actually quite possible to get some stands and uh, let's push those back I've pretty much settled on the two types of uh, these plastic ones as you can see the main thing is that these are foldable so you can actually fold them flat I mean these are nice because you can take them with them easily like put them in a bag uh, go on holidays and you know like still be organized and you know like your phone then can act as a clock so yeah i mean you know on the other hand they take a lot of horizontal space and as you should know by now horizontal space in here is at a high premium the vertical volume it's much cheaper so i think that was one of the main motivations was that you know like it looks okay it looks kind of the same and however you have it here you can still move it, it doesn't fall over versus this, but as you will see later, these ones have like very small stands and these are weighted. And of course these are not adjustable, this one, well both of these have adjustments. And yeah, these small ones, super flimsy, but they're small, so you know, they're like bendy plastic. Now, yeah, like, okay. So yeah, that's one of the problems with the small ones. These ones are pretty much okay. I think I have like two other or like three even other versions of like this me medium sized ones, let's call them like that. And they're generally, you know, like fine. The problem is that once I bought the first batch of these, I think, you know, like half a dozen, then trying to get like exactly the same as like more of them, that tends to be problematic. You know, depends whether they got shipped in a container from China or not. So that's another caveat that you may not be thinking in the beginning, but it might be that there's always, you know, like a commercial small pocket stand available, but it might be a different set of sets or of stands at any point. And yeah, you may have your favorite one like this. I think I have like a dozen of these uh, all over the place and in like also in the drawer. As for the small ones, use them. Uh, I mean, they're not really like usable when you're actually like taking the stuff a lot of time these are mostly like a, a display thing so you just put your thing and don't touch it as, because as you can see extra flimsy built in now yeah let's move this apart I'll move it away now yeah as for the construction of these ones it's kind of interesting because it's again a super cheap quick you know like design idea i think we'll start with the smallest one so again it's a uh, Popsicle sticks, tank depressors, super cheap and lots of glue. Uh, this is actually three types of glue used here. So I do use like PVA glue, like, a, you know, like standard wood glue, just to position stuff like the lower shelf, because, you know, like it doesn't immediately set. And then, you know, structural strength, CA glue, of course, and also hot glue. And uh, the fronts, this is actually kind of interesting material. It's a tape. It's uh, like a fabric tape and I found it, well, I found it marketed as a tape for cars to sound dampen them. It, like it didn't make any sense to me, but you know, like I only have one roll of that. It's like my first roll and I was like kind of finding like what would be a good use for that. 
and this sort you know of like uh, I guess you could use like a felt but this is much quicker and much easier to work with and you know I like black as probably everybody else now as you can see the backs of them so like the standing parts they're all pretty much the same size this way and yeah I mean for those to you know like not tip over you need to weigh them down and those big uh, ball bearings it's uh, I think it's economically the least sensible way to do it but you know I had them on hand and you cannot argue that they do not look cool and again you know like stuff being custom made these ones don't need any support in my opinion because the consoles you know like they are relatively light uh, the smartphone it's heavier but it's also you know like this is stuff that I'm constantly using so you know I need to be able to have this you know, like sturdy and not tipping over which is working you can you know like even like uh, use the phone when it's on the stand so I think that's cool so yeah you can make one in a day it's like a one day project and the most time is spent obviously with like a small hand so just uh, uh, shortening the popsicle sticks because you know it's all about taking big things and making them smaller in specific way so yeah i mean this one's going to be used the most these ones like in most cases were like for a couple of maybe like a week or two like with the console in the in the corner and uh, yeah i think if i manage to break this one i would be surprised but who knows we'll see yeah, so, you know, like the question, should you make your own or should you buy one? I guess buying is easier, but what you get is what you get. And here, you know, the shapes and sizes and even like I like specifically try to make them all at the same angle. But, you know, you can adjust it as you want. So I think it's a cool project. I mean, probably something you could do like with like a, with uh, your kids or something. Yeah, I think it's like, you know, nothing terribly toxic or brutal here. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed, hope that might have inspired you to make your own stuff that looks cool. If you do so, please uh, share it back so, you know, the inspiration should flow. Thank you. Bye.